The question is, who is God? That's the Western world that is say God. In African culture, the word is neta. It's neta, N-E-T-E-R, which means nature. That's where they got the word God at the, the Western Europeans. And so to go further deeper, you got to understand that when we say God, we're talking about neta. I don't want to get the word nature. So you take the, the letters, which is N-T-R, and you see the same letters in neta. You take the vowels out. Take the vowels out. But I call nature nutra. Nutra is heaven. The heavenly mother. Like the heavenly body. Cosmic body. And ra is light. It's energy. It's supreme energy. And so we say creation. Which is neta root. You add the U on neta. You get neta U. Neta universe. A spirit of energy. This cosmic energy. This is the body now. We're talking about creation. So you got the creator. You got creation. So nature creates itself. God creates itself over and over and over. Different patterns. Different forms. And this is where you get creation. And creation you got all types of pattern in it. And the universal body. Which I call newt rock. And so who is Neta, nature, Newt Rock? In the Western culture, they say God. Or the Europeans say God. In our culture, it's Neta, which is N-T-R. So let's break this down. It means authority. It means supreme. Supreme energy. Supreme living. Supreme creation. And who is that creation? We are the creation. We are the cosmic body. Each and every individual makes that one. So Neta is one that has many expressions. You are many expressions of the same Neta, which is Neta root. We call Neta root, which creates one. And so we speak of nature, Neta one, Neta root. We say Neta one, yep. Neta as one, number one. Would you get Ra? Ra is number one. Ra is supreme energy. All energy that's in everyone and everything. So Neta is the everlasting. Neta is the everlasting. Neta is the great. So on this beat, as you hear the energy flow and rhythm, this is Ra. This is Ra and rhythm tuned to the beat. When things are off course, the energy started to cease. But energy goes on forever and ever and ever. Energy don't die. The energy get weaker. Then it gets back on when it gets back on track, it gets stronger again. But energy don't die. And so Neta. When it's hitting, it's called Amen. Like Amen, the same as Amen, means hitting. When you add Ra to it, it's called Amen Ra, the hitting light. The hitting light in what? In you, me, him, her. The same light, the same energy, the same force. It's in plants and trees and birds. So, no matter no matter what being, or, no, or no matter beings, or what beings, you know what I'm saying? We seek out the lightness of what? Nature. The same nature which they call God. Because we in the likeness of nature and God, but in the cosmic form. And through this form, we become the expression. And so, Neta is Amen. That's hidden. In what? In all Neta rules. Because you are part of the Neta rule tree. Neta rule is Neta. So we are different Netas. That's part of the big Neta. So we become one. You got the good, the bad, the ugly. It's all part of the natural tree. Because this creates balance. This creates duality. This creates many expressions of netta. From the bad to the good to the ugly. And so we got to understand. That netta, which is God Ra. Is really nameless. You don't know who God is. Until you give it a name. You don't know who Ra is until you give it a name. Everything has a title to identify it itself. And so... For Ra to identify itself, Ra has become Patar Haru or Haru Patar. And so when Ra becomes Haru Patar, it gave it a Ren. A Ren means name. R E N. Ren means name. To identify itself, it identifies itself as spirit. It knows that it's spirit. So once it knows itself, it becomes superpowers in the flesh, human form, and creation. So for nothingness, and nothingness means no name. Nothingness means darkness. Nothingness means devoid. So for nothingness, it's Harupatar. 
or Taharu, who gave light, who gave Ra, who gave energy. So from that nothingness, it had to be organized. It had to be a life giver out of that nothingness. It creates this vibration, which is light, which is Ra. So we always creating our life, creating what we do, making these choices. We got choices of what we do on this planet. So you are the God. It's part of the big expression of what God is. The great God. So when we speak of Batar Haru, Batar Haru is one who gave Ra his name, gave everything his name. So when I create it's from Batar Haru that gave his expression. See, Batar is the craft energy. This is the craft energy, the maker energy, the creative energy, the master of energy that puts things together. And make it form. Haru is the universal mind, the higher mind that brings it from a higher view, a higher blueprint, a higher expression to, so it can manifest itself. Haru is the willpower, is, is the heart of that, of that Batar energy, Batar mind. So now, we want to create something, it's Batar, Batar Haru. So for nothingness, no name, none, darkness, came, came, who? Ra, light, life, names, and creation for nothingness. And from you, what comes? Your ideas. From you, out of nowhere, what comes? Your, another name. You think of this, you think of that. Then from thinking, which is Tahuti, through the wisdom of this, you create. So you already know how your creation is going to be through the wisdom of Tahuti. So raw energy is hitting when it's hitting it's Amun in all things so when raw energy is hitting in creation you know this is Amun Ra you are Amun Ra I'm Amun Ra Amun Ra gives you the willpower all we bond together is all these Amun Ra's come together is Netta rules which part of the great spirit which is Netta so Netta when they say Netta is nameless now you understand what that means we give it a name we give it a title so it's through creation that gives that gives a creator and it's through creator that gives the creation, vice versa. So the name of spirit or God is a mystery until we humans put life or light into the word of what God is, or what nature is, or what nature is. So this will, this willpower, which we call Haru, came from Tahuti, the thoughts and the tongue, the thoughts, the tongue, the wisdom of, of that comes from Tahuti. So who is the one who knows? We know yourself. It's my art to So now, Haru, which is the heart, is the consciousness mind of a Ra, or Asar, his father, Asar. And so we say God, Asar, or you can say Ra. We talk about light, the hidden light, which also Amara within every human being. So to reach Asar, it gotta be spiritual light. We gotta know who you is. You gotta know that you part, that you this light. And that you're part of something that's greater than you. And you have powers that's powerful than the flesh. That you come from something that's greater than the flesh. Greater than human form. And um, once you understand this, you're ahead of the game. Because Haru is the heart. The conscious mind. The aware mind. The knowing mind. The willpower of the mind. That, that protects the mind. It's that third eye. You know what I mean? Of Ra. Of Asar. They help you get there. The, the director. The, the narrator. Who know how to get there. The warrior. So when you say the black warrior, you're talking the third eye. You're talking about those who got the willpower, those who got the scrim, those who, who protect themselves, protect their spirit from all opposite forces. So it's through Haru. And so this is why Haru is very important. Not only Haru was the son of a set, the nurturer, the caregiving, he got the same spirit of his mother as the nurturer, the caregiving. And also as the healer, he also, he also was the eye, the willpower, the scrim, the warrior for his mother and for his nation. His mother, the one who gave him that, that wisdom, the spark. See what I'm saying? So now, as you know, all spiritual beings, you know, you won't know who spirit is. Because the spirit of God, God can't be seen with the physical eyes, but you only will know through the third eye and the crown. The third eye is the only way you can know what spirit is. You got to be truly in tune with the divine. So this is truly what God is, God is Netta, which we call nature. So we say we 
we are the forces of nature and we use the forces of nature to live and to to move it's true and that's the ultimate truth because netta is nameless one the formless one it's energy it's self-existence self-living and intangible beyond time beyond space in different forms of energy Netta is all energy come in any form it choose and it's pure consciousness it's my haru which is my mind it's in all matter and support all creations and this is what Netta is it supports all Netta rules all matter since you got insight of Netta of nature now what is the forces of nature which is creation creation this is the elements the elements is the forces of nature of air fire water earth even space so this is what it is this is who what creation is and we all made of that we all need that to, to live and to survive while we in the flesh so it's the different degrees of each other that makes you become different than your brothers and sisters far as in form now all of these come from raw pure consciousness this is the creation the qualities of matter also the qualities of matter from air fire water and earth you got hot you got dry you got wet and you got cold there you have it that's eight eight hot dry wet and cold air fire water and earth but also space number nine to who manipulate that space is number ten to, to who the, the ten the tree of life so we only different in degrees of vibrational existence from dense solid lower frequency to less dense and those who truly close to the divine have a great great element of your melanin so it is being said and you can, you can tell through symbolisms of their hair curly kinky hair or curly hair many ways you can tell you know so not saying that no human being who had a spirit of his essence they just duplicates of what's original that's it duplicates and some of them came out dysfunctional of what is original so what is being said but in some degree this still has some of our energy our force no matter what human on the planet so which is spirit so once you understand batar batar is the one that direct the atoms the atoms batar is the director of that manipulator of his energy this is batar before tahuti but also it's tahuti but this batar is the oldest so we say the batar mind which is haru mind is powerful so it's batar who creates the atoms that creates all things and all matter batar is the craftsperson the creator mind the willpower to create but and the atoms is both masculine and female energy so with it being said when we say the batar haru, haru mind we're talking about consciousness that creates all matter 100 percent through thought which is the hoodie so now you understand that beautiful people with this being said now you know who god is you are part of what is god you are god you are that energy you are that force so create your reality and be the blueprint of your life and yours is everything you're going through because of you only you can save you i shake